my channel. So in this video, I'm going to uh, try to introduce a solution to this famous question called the Dining Philosophers in Operating System Textbook. Also, I'm trying to follow the general steps we should follow in the coding interview when I try to explain this question and explain this piece of code. So first of all, let's research this question. So the question is very long, but uh, the general idea for this question is something like we have five philosophers and uh, before each of the philosophers, there is one plate of the spaghetti there. So the spaghetti in the plate is infinite and also the stomach for each of the philosopher is uh, infinite. And we only have five forks placed like this on the, on the table. So for a philosopher to start to eat the spaghetti, he needs to acquire the fork on the left and the fork on the right. And then the, and then the philosopher can start to eat. So there's no way for the philosophers to start to eat without uh, both of the forks on the left and right. So after picking the two of the forks uh, on the both on the left and the right, uh, the, sp the philosopher can start to eat the spaghetti. And then after the eating, the philosopher need to put the fork uh, on the left and right so that other philosophers can start to eat. So the question is trying to ask us to uh, to to make sure that uh, there's no starvation for the philosopher and also there's no deadlock. So in in the multi-threading work, uh, in the multi-threading world, for example, if uh, all the philosophers uh, start to pick the left fork uh, or start to pick the right fork, is something like uh, like all of the philosophers cannot eat. So that's essentially what the question is asking us to solve. So we have several solutions. I will just pick one of the solution to introduce how it works. So the solution is something like uh, we define the semaphores for each of the fork and also we have a global semaphore uh, which is called pick. So we use this semaphore to make sure that uh, only one philosopher can pick the left and right fork at the same time. So for this piece of code in the in the constructor, we are going to uh, initialize the pick uh, the semaphore with one, and then we have the fork. Uh, each of the fork is a semaphore with one. And uh, for this uh, wants to eat API, First of all, we are going to try to acquire the global lock, which is a pick. Um, so, so, so that only one philosopher who get this semaphore can start to pick the fork and eat. And then after the philosopher pick the left fork, right fork and finish eating, then we are just going to release the fork so that other philosophers can start to uh, pick the pick the pick fork. Uh, as required and then start to eat. So it's something like this. So there are some other uh, solutions. So for example, we can initialize the semaphore as four and uh, we try to acquire the semaphore at the beginning and uh, then release the semaphore at the very end within this API. So when we change this semaphore uh, with four, then we can make sure that uh, uh, only four, uh, only four philosophers are trying to eat at the same time, so that uh, we can guarantee there is only one philosopher can eat at the, uh, at the same time. So, for example, let's say we have one, two, three, four, four of the uh, philosophers, they acquire their forks uh, at the same time. So let's say this guy picks this, this guy picks this, this guy picks this, this guy picks this. So. Uh, because this one is uh, it's not uh, it's not being picked so that this philosopher can start to eat so that's another solution for this question um, but uh, so feel free to comment if you have any other solutions uh, to solve this problem um, so that's pretty much it for this piece of code uh, if you have any question regarding the solution or regarding uh, the code feel free to leave some comments below if you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.